so let's go through live onto Facebook. Let's share it on a page. I'm just getting there. Occurring live streaming preview. Almost ready. Okay, almost there. Come on. <laughs> okay. Oh, I've got to put a title. Wait a minute. All right, I'll edit that later. Okay, going live. Good evening, everyone. I'm just going to check that we're live on the page. Go with me, everybody. Lovely. Okay, we're live. Good evening, everyone, and welcome. Welcome to this evening's live session. If you are watching and if you can hear me, please drop a comment so that I know that the tech is working. I am renowned for having sound issues on Facebook. Carol and I, Caroline and I have done a test, but it would be really helpful for those of you that have tuned in already to just drop a comment and let me know if you can hear us before we before we start talking. So um, if anyone's there, just let me know that you're watching and that you can hear us okay. Okay, brilliant. Hi Artie, fabulous. So welcome everyone and good evening. So tonight I am so excited and so grateful to have the wonderful Caroline Thomas here with us. She is an amazing holistic practitioner and she works with animals. She is qualified in, in so many different modalities. She teaches and her passion is really to help to educate people to use different complementary treatments and therapies to help their animals. So first of all, thank you so much, Caroline, for joining us this evening. Thank you for having me. Um, I'm really excited to talk about a subject that I'm very passionate Can you about. Hear me, Caroline? Sorry, we had a few sound issues there, but brilliant. Thank you very much, Caroline. So everyone can hear, I can hear now. I have my sound down low, apologies for everybody. So tonight we are talking about flower remedies. Oh. Hang on, bear with me everybody. I've got an echo. I need to sort that out. Oh dear. Oh no. Hang on a sec, everybody. Just bear with me one second. I know you're here and I know you're eagerly waiting to speak to Caroline, but just bear with me. I need to work out how the uh, tech goes. If I close that. Okay, let's try it this way. Right, Caroline, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah. Okay, fabulous. I'll go on my phone on Facebook to monitor comments. Sorry about that, everyone. So <laughs> let's try that again. So tonight, Caroline is talking to us about flower remedies, which is a topic that I am very, very new to. So although I work with essential oils and uh, dried herbs and flowers, remedy, flower remedies is something completely new to me. So Caroline, can you start with telling us um, how you got into flower remedies, you know, how you found out about them? Yeah, so basically, uh, I think with anybody that you meet in this kind of field, they've always had some sort of crisis in their own life. And um, my brother had committed suicide actually. And it was a very, very, you know, dark time. And it was almost like by chance I was introduced to rescue remedy. And I kind of then from there, I kind of found out that so rescue remedy is what you would see um, in Boots or Holland and Barrett's. And 
it's it's a really famous remedy that will help with stress or driving um, tests or exams or anything like that. But what I wasn't aware of was that actually this is a, a remedy made up of five flower essences. Mm -hmm. And these come from the, the batch flower essences. So, I'll, so everyone will know them as bark, B-A-C-H. Um, but just a little bit of the history was a gentleman called Edward Bark. He was a um, he was actually a, a proper doctor, and he worked in Harley Street. But um, <clears throat> a lot of his patients couldn't pronounce his name of Bark. So if you come from a traditional training through the Batch Flower Centre, you um, you will know because we will always project, pronounce it as Batch, and that's how he taught his patients how to pronounce it. So basically, just quickly, he um, became quite disillusioned. This was the end of the 18th century, going into the beginning of the 20th century, ran for the First World War. He couldn't actually go to war because he'd got stomach cancer. Oh, wow. And he really wanted to be part of the war and to help. And he just set himself just working in his office. And, um, and, and what he found was, was that after so many months, he was actually well. He was well again and it brought him on this big journey of um your mindset and how you know being positive and having a positive outlook can affect your physical um illnesses or well-being so in a nutshell he went on a on a bit of a journey and he, for some reason he was very drawn to the essences uh, the energy of flowers mm -hmm. um and he was very much into the homeopathy but which he, he saw as a gentle modality and he wanted something else. And he just went on this journey of connecting with the flower energies. And it's, I, you know, I, I think he must've been quite spiritual to be actually be able to understand that there was a big connection there. And um, while he was in Wales, he kind of saw the dew of the rain that had fallen on the petals. Mm -hmm. And um, and then he realized that was how he could harness the energy. So. With wow. flower essences, they contain the energy of the flowers. So those just a little, I've just made that, if you can see that, the energy yeah. of the flowers. And it's usually the flower heads or or sometimes it can be the bark of a tree yeah. or the buds. And with with essential oils, you you've actually you're actually harnessing the actual powerful components of the plants or the flowers, but with flower essences you're actually um, capturing the energy. What a, what a great distinction. That's what I was going to ask. What is the difference between essential oils and, and, and yeah. you notice I didn't say batch or back flower remedies when I introduced you, but I, I was fascinated to know that that's the difference. It's the volatile components in an essential oil. It's the, 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 you know, the squeezed parts of the flower almost to get the essential yeah. oil compared to the energy. I mean, that's that's fascinating. So, so each, so, I mean, there's, he is like, we would say the father of this modality. And I'm sure going back millennia before that, there was other people that had done that, but there's there's other quite famous flower essence producers now. Mm -hmm. um, but he was like the father of, um, because to, to harness that energy, he had to find a way of, of um, preserving it. So basically he used a very simplistic way, which was um, capturing the flower heads. He chose a very sunny day um, in a bowl of just spring water, mm -hmm. um, left it out in the sun. And then what he did was <clears throat> he used preservative, he used brandy to preserve it. And even essences that were made, you know, back in that time, they still contain the energy of those essences that he made. Mm -hmm. So, it, I mean, it, 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 I mean, he was very clever and he worked out that each flower presented a different energy to help with an emotional problem. Mm -hmm. So with flower essences, we're working with the emotions. So we're working with, um, especially with animals, we're working with all of the fears that they might have. Mm -hmm. And uh, especially with cats, we're working with the lack of social socialization. We're working with um, highly bred cats that 
you know, haven't been able to experience being outside. Mm. They've kind of uh, been interbred. Their kind of mental health isn't great. And basically, they're, they're kind of the, uh, the Prozac of the holistic world. They, they help to address things like grief, fear, worry, anxiety, change where you have cats that, uh, which I've worked with a lot of cats that are urinating in the house or marking the house because there's been some building or a new cat has come in and these will support um, the change that's happening, but also they're really good at supporting um, behavioral changes that you might implement to the owner and just say, look, you know, if you do this, um, this will support, you know, your cat feeling more secure. But when you give them a flower essence as well, you kind of have the extra security that they're able to learn from that experience and they're able to um, basically become less fearful, become more um, able to cope with change. I love, I'm just going to pick up on something there just ever so slightly to, in, you know, I don't mean to interrupt you, but oh. I just want to highlight the fact that you're talking about the mental health of cats. And, and, you know, for anyone that knows me and naturally cats, you know, I am all about the cats and their mental health, their emotional state. And it actually gives me comfort that I'm not the only one that is aware of the fact that cats have mental health issues and cats need mental health support. So thank you for, for mentioning that because- well, It's been my, um, it born out of my own mental health issues. It, it was, it's been my, um, passion to recognize mental health in the animal world and to and I've worked with some very complicated cases and and you know they 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 are suffering with mental health and they they may not be able to voice it but you know the uh, you know the obsessive um, grooming um, all of these are symptoms of something that's not correct in their lives and you know we would support that with a flower essence but equally we would have to find out what that is that's causing that stress mm. and see what we can do to address it and again, again another great point you know making the connection between emotional and mental well-being and behavior you know I always say there is no such thing as a problem behavior there's just a behavior we don't understand and again I love the fact that you are echoing that with saying that you know over grooming inappropriate toileting you know aggression and the, all of these things are reactions and they're like you said they're symptoms of an emotional state so thank you again for bringing that up tell me how Tell me how you would use a remedy. Tell me like, you know, what would you do if you were going to come to my house and work with Leo? You know, obviously, you know, pre-COVID, yeah. but what would you, how do you work with cats with them? So, so basically um, in that, in the range, um, there's actually 38 um, individual essences and they come in, you can have, that's Yorkshire essences range of the batch flowers. And um, that's the Nelson's range, which is probably the most um, known. Um, and basically I would have, I would speak to you or, or, or you as an owner, if you were doing it yourself, you would, you would work out what it is that you want to treat. So, you know, say if it was your cat, what, you know, you, all of my um, people that come to me, they will present a, a something that's going on that they can't sort out themselves. They don't understand why it's happening and they need it addressed. So it can, it could be, a, which is quite common, cats, um, especially when they're older, like crying in the night. Yeah, yes, let's use that as an example. Yeah, let's use yeah. that. Okay, so um, basically, what is that? What? Why are they doing that? And, mm -hmm. and probably nine out of 10, it's as they get older, maybe some Alzheimer's, maybe. Um, so I would look at the fear issues that are going on. I would look at any changes in their routine. I would look at, um, you know, is the cat sleeping all day and and then its clock is upside down. So I'd kind of work out as best I can what would be uh, the situation that is happening. Mm -hmm. And then I would go back to my essences, there's 38. Um, 
I was kind of, so they've been different groups. I kind of, what well, is it a fear remedy? And you've probably got six in there that you can choose from. Um, is it like, so, you know, is it to do with, uh, to do with changes or, um, so each remedy will, will deal with something. And so in that case, I would choose walnut. So walnut is, is, of, is, an, is an essence, it's like a single essence that is to do with um, changes. And, I'll, and, and this is your, so if you are a cat owner or a dog owner or whatever, you could have like five essences and you'd have walnut because there's always likely to <clears throat> a change of food, a change of um, house, a change, you know, you could have a, a new pets coming in, um, youngsters when they go off to university, you know, anything yeah. that's changing yeah. in the environment and it causes them to be unsettled. So a cat that's crying at night, okay, I kind of go, okay, well, maybe there's something that's a change that I'm not aware of. So I would choose walnut as say one of my, my essences that I'm going to use. Definitely a fear essence. So I'd look at one called mimulus and all of these are made from the energies of the flowers or the trees. Um, and if you measured it under a microscope, you would just see water and brandy because you can't capture the energy. Mm. Um, so this is what's so interesting about it. So if you were, you know, this is why they're so safe. So I'd put, I then choose the fear essence of mimulus. So mimulus is for known fears. Mm -hmm. So um, that could be fear of a shadow. That could be fear of the wind, fear of um, something that might be happening at night. But then I would probably combine that with Aspen, which is fear of the unknown. So you've kind of got, um, so unknown is something that's causing your cat to be fearful, but you can't, they can't actually put a, a name on it. And then, and it, and you know, it's, it's making them feel kind of um, upset and anxious, but they're not able to kind of, well, you're never really going to find out. From they your can't, cat. No, they can't say that to you, can they? So how, how would you offer it to them? How do you give it, like administer it? Yeah, to the so, cat? so, 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 and this is the thing is it, it, to make it as simple as possible that um, somebody here that's listening will go away and think, I understand this, you know, I, I, I want it to be simple, basically. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I would, so you can, the cheapest way is, is to contact a practitioner uh, I'm registered on the batch register for animals and humans, and they will make a, a treatment bottle by mixing two drops of each. So you two drops from your a walnut, two drops from your mimulus and two drops from aspen. They'll put them in this bottle, mm -hmm. and this is called a treatment bottle. Mm -hmm. um, and then you fill that up with uh, boiled water, and give it a shake and then you have got a specific treatment bottle for your cat that cries at night mm -hmm. and you would then use four drops four times a day of that what do you when you say use what do you mean so how uh, how so, do you how yeah. you know, do you put it in the cat's water do you put it in a saucer do you put it in their mouth you know what do you do yeah so i wouldn't put it in their mouth i would put it on their food i would put it in their water i would put it um on treats and, and the thing is, you can um, put it on, you can put it onto um, your hand and rub it into their fur, which is really nice because you're, um, especially cats that have got OCDs, you can um, use it as a spray. You can put it into a spray and just spray the room. Mm -hmm. Obviously, don't add any um, aromatherapy oils. No essential oils, no, no. You're just going to apply it as uh, you can you can put it on their meridians. You can, it's it's kind of like, because it's 100% safe, you can use it neat. The only reason I don't use it neat is because it's got alcohol in it. I was going to ask about that. So you said basically it's, you know, it's brandy, water and the energy. So yeah. there are going to be some people that they're going to, going to watch this, you know, perhaps on replay and be like, so effect effectively, I'm giving my cat something with brandy in it. And obviously when we think of brandy, it's like, you know, the big glass yeah, that you know, burns your nose. <laughs> yeah, and they, well, they do ranges that don't have brandy in and they're made with glycerol or um, cider vinegar. Mm -hmm. So you have uh, ranges that are for people that 
don't have any alcohol in mm-hmm. the, you know, like due to their religion or something like that. Mm-hmm. So they, they're a bit more, um, probably have to go on the internet to get those. Mm-hmm. So, but I that- assume the amount of brandy in, in the, in the, bottle you know you're not going to take it off and be like oh god you can smell it I mean I yeah, assume it's so heavily why, diluted I mean, with with that's why I always put it in a treatment bottle because I, I'm, I'm diluting it as much as I can each yeah. time so um within that three essences it's like six drops I've yeah. put in there and then they're diluted with 30 mils of water yeah um if if you still felt there was too much alcohol you obviously when it's diluted in water for their drink then it's diluted again when you place it on your hand, you can dilute it in water again. Mm-hmm. Uh, animals don't appreciate brandy at all. <laughs> they don't like it. Um, they, they, uh, they're not happy, really. So it, it, it's, I'm diluting it as much as I can, basically, for animals. And if you Google on the internet, you can get all of the batch range with, um, made up with no alcohol. Oh, okay, that's cool. That's good yeah, to know. Because it's such it's, the reason I've I've chosen to speak about Batch is because it's world famous. Yeah. And you're just going to be able, you can buy it from Boots, buy it from Holland and Barrow, and it's going to be easy that anyone listening um, to this webinar will be able to um, purchase simply, and yeah. they're not having to go and research or anything like that. And and that's and that's the thing. It, it's he when he created it he wanted something that was simple and easy and he had this stream that it would be in everyone's um medical box and that they'd be able to use it and it's been used all over the world it's never interacted with medication it's never caused any um side effects it's never it's never hurt anybody it's it's the most natural gentle um antidepressant in some ways or the most natural um, pick me up it, it is it's and what it does it supports change and I like to see it as that while it's supporting that change they learn from that support so mm. if an animal's fearful and you give um say with the your cat that's crying at night they'll they'll be less fearful so then they'll kind of learn that actually this this space at night when my owners are in bed it's okay mm. Mm. And that's when the crying stops because then they, then they learn that you know there's nothing going on I don't feel fearful mm. I can you know I can walk around the hallway and nothing's going to happen to me and mm. and and that's what makes it quite you know amazing and it, and it's kind of not known enough that the more we can use this with animals the more we're going to be able to help their mental health because when you use Prozac or tranquilizers or any kind of antidepressant with an animal, it doesn't actually treat the um, situation or the or the root cause. No. It, just, it just it just shuts them down and they they're not able to be themselves. Whereas you use a flower essence, it helps them to um, address the root problem and to gently move forward. Mm. So did it so we talked a bit about mental health and I, I, I could talk about cat mental health, you know, for hours, yeah. but um can you use them then for for physical issues or is it just emotion? And when I say just emotional, I know that's a very big thing to be able to support, but can you use them for physical things as well? Well, you can use them in terms of the uh how a cat feels. So if a cat's really ill, then you would use them to support to support their emotion. And that's why Edward Batch realized that if you have a positive um, way about you or you, you see things in a positive light, then, then you're gonna get better quick, quicker. Mm-hmm. And he works on that principle with people or animals that, you know, if they're feeling worries me and it's the end of the world and, you know, it, 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 on an energetic level, it doesn't support the physical ailment. But if they're able to feel more positive and okay, this is a setback, but I'm going to get better, then, well, it's, it's, it's that then they're more likely to um, the injuries is more likely to heal at a quicker rate. But on a physical level, um, they don't they don't mm. they don't work on the physical level. They work on the emotional level that supports physical change, basically. I love that. That is that is cracking. That's absolutely beautifully said. <laughs> So can you believe it? Nearly half hour has gone already. Yeah. Already. yeah. Um, yeah. 
Okay, so I'm going to talk about the cards and stuff in a minute, but is there is there anything else in terms of how powerful these can be with cats? You know, what what would be your takeaway for you to share with someone at home who's got a cat and is new to to remedies? Um, I think that um, what I found is presenting to me a lot is is cats that don't get on, mm. and that's the cat quite- homes. Yeah, and it, and it and it and it's very upsetting for the owners, and it's distressing that you know for the cats. And you can treat each cat individually. So, so basically, the takeaway is is that you know you, your animal doesn't have to be in this situation. Um, they don't have to be fearful of the postman. They don't have to, you know, be angry with their the cat. I didn't realize how complex cats are. They they really are complicated in terms of. <laughs> what cats come in and out and uh, you know and, and 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 these the essences will soften that it doesn't mean that they're, they're going to love their neighbor it just means that they're not going to be as offended as much um any situation that you can add an emotional um kind of side to it then you you're going to get a, a really positive outcome mm-hmm. and yeah, and it, and it and it it just makes sure it, everyone in the, it, and then quickly before I go is that the the cats are mirrors of us and they're sponges and if you're giving a remedy to your cat then definitely take it for yourself. Oh, well said. I love that. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that that is so that is so true, and I think you've spoken a lot to to what we're trying to raise awareness for. So you know, cats have mental health uh, requirements that we need to be mindful of, you know, they reflect and mirror our emotional state as well. And that any situation that we're dealing with when it comes to like a problem with a cat is going to have an emotional cause or emotional component at least. So thank you for drawing out those, those key kind of um, takeaways because I, I am amazed as to what can be done with flower remedies and how they can help cats. Just quickly say you can't overdose, you can't give them too much, you can't, you know, that they're, they're the safest modality after Reiki, that you can't, mm-hmm. whereas essential oils, you've just got to be so respectful of that space where, you know, it, you, whatever you give them, you can't do anything wrong. Um, and that's the beauty of them. You, mm-hmm. If you choose the wrong essences, it's just not going to work. If you choose the right ones, you know, it'll work. And, and then if you give them too much, it, it doesn't, you know, it, it, that's why they're so brilliant for owners to play around with, to um, and really look at, you know, because there's obviously, it's so common now that, that, especially through COVID, that cats are really finding it difficult as well as, you know, as well as the owners. And, you know, it's looking at, what can you do to help yourself and your cat and and definitely starting with flower essences you can easily um address any worries that you have i i love that and i think like you said you know reiki either you know it does nothing or it helps and it's all about your intention isn't it it's all about and and i think because that these you're not working with the chemical components of a plant like you are with essential oils you're working with energy and with energy it's all about intention like you said and and coming to it with with the the intention to help the cat and to ease the situation and understand what's going on you know all of those components make a difference and can help and support the cat yeah 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 and and you know, we're, they're mirrors of, you know, they, they mirror, you know, they're mirroring us that they are, you know, suffering like we are, they, you know, they, they're getting more, you know, food that's like processed, you know, like, they're kind of, the, the animals are the mirrors of the human race, basically, and, you know, some, uh, we forgot how to, we forgot that they, evolutionary, they've come from, you know, cats are essentially wild animals that are living in our homes, and, yeah. you know, we, we've essentially, got them there but to for their mental health we need to be looking at and addressing you know what is going on and that's and that's why even with the support of the essences you really you still have to make changes as well yeah. to, to make sure because it's you're not you, you it's just a sticking plaster unless you look and address um the issue that's causing the problem mm. we've got a duty to provide for them haven't we we've got a duty to help them 
thrive rather than just survive we brought them into our homes we feed them at, you know a set time every day yeah. you know whatever that may be we have domesticated them but they've still got these natural drives and the, and they still need support to deal with this massive change of domestication yeah yeah and they say and cats are interesting because they're a predator and they're a prey animal mm -hmm. and i don't know of other animals that sit in that in that space so and that's what makes them so unique indeed oh caroline i could talk to you for hours all the stuff you're saying it's like i've given you a script i'm like yes we say that naturally cats and yes we say that naturally cats thank yeah. you i i have found this absolutely fascinating and um two things before we go so first of all tell people where they can reach you contact you or find out more information about you yep so i'm on um who uh, who Food for Poor um, Holistic Therapies. And I teach, I've got courses, um, fully qualified courses on there. I do um, consultations, but now I tend to pass them on to my qualified students to do those because I'm really passionate about education and passing uh, the knowledge of this on to owners, ideally vets, that would be my, that's my holy grail of, mm -hmm you know, let, let's get the vets into this. And I, I like to say complimentary because I'm, I come from like a pharmacy background. I, I you know, it's a, it, it complements any kind of medication that a vet would supply to your animal. Yeah. So are you on Facebook and Instagram? I'm not on Instagram. I'm, I'm on Facebook, um, Hoof and Poor Holistic Therapies. And okay. I'm on Twitter. Well. <laughs> I, I see I'm on Twitter but I don't use Twitter so I always forget about yeah, Twitter. I'm on it. I'm on it. yeah so yeah Brilliant. okay lovely thank you so before we wrap up two things I want to share with people so Caroline, Caroline and I are co-hosting a workshop in a couple of weeks about cat chakras and meridians I am so excited I'm going to be sat there with my notebook learning from Caroline um, so I'm going to pop the link in the comments below so if anybody wants to book a space, we've got um, people booked on already, but we have got some spaces left. It's an hour and a half and it's on uh, Tuesday, the 23rd of March, half seven till 9 p.m. We've got a couple of giveaways for people that join of books and things. We've got some downloadables. Uh, it's going to be amazing. So book your space via the Eventbrite link. That's the first thing. And the second thing is... I don't know if you know, but Caroline has made the most amazing toolbox set. So it so this is, is the, 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 the Lisa Tesaro. We 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 co yes. this box. Yeah. Sorry, it's because I'm I'm like it's so awesome. You're right, Caroline Thomas and Melissa Tesaro. So it comes like this. I don't know if everyone can see that that way, and it is phenomenal. So there are books. Hang on. Art of Divination with Batch Flower Remedies and Chakra Healing for Cats. Yeah. So in here, you've got all the information Oops, about the remedies. There is information about, hang on, let me find it, about the chakras in cats. And there's information about how to use the chakras, how to use the remedies. That's the first book because there's two. Where did I put it? And the second book which is The Art of Dowsing and Meridian Pendulum. And this one has got all meridians for cats. It's got, hang on, that way. That way. I'm so wonky with my camera. Um, it's got the meridian drawings. It's got uh, more information about chakras and the five element archetypes. I mean, there is so much of it's got dowsing charts, it talks about different energy bodies. And this is this is all about cats, people. You know, this is just about cats. There's no dog stuff, there's no horse stuff. I, I love them, don't get me wrong, but it's all about cats. And and also what it comes with, which is the most phenomenal thing, is a set of cards. So there's a card again for each flower essence and they're double they're double-sided so it talks about the behavior of a, a wild oak cat behavior you know um let me see honeysuckle cat behavior and it, it's got gorgeous pictures on them that's the first kind of set of cards and then there are some amazing um uh like what would you call this um like dowsing chart would you yeah, say so these are dowsing charts that melissa tesaro um she kind of um designed and we worked on um our both of our skill sets and 
we, we wanted to kind of do dowsing um, for health for cats. Mm. And with a pendulum, you can, each card is like its own healing modality. Mm -hmm. So um, you could use it that the cats, you could lay them all on the floor and let the, your cats select a card. And you can just work with that card on its own. Mm -hmm. Or you can shuffle the cards and the card comes out and you can work with that cat and um, that card. And um, we've chosen a lot of dowsing issues that would be typical of cat behavior. And then you could see uh, what is going on. I, I, I don't know if you can give me an example of one of the dowsing cards that are there. So two that have just popped out. One is emotional response. So that's, that's this yeah. one where it says, um, extremely intense, intense, mild or none. So that's about is your cat feeling an emotional response? And then the other one that popped out is eye issues. So it says symptoms of an eye infection, blinking, squinting, discharge, swelling, redness, and then mm -hmm. other stuff. So, you know, these are these are so comprehensive, everyone. And and there's there's loads. My desk is covered. I don't show you, but the the pack is, I think is amazing. Nine cards in the pack. So that's like hundred and nearly two hundred. Um it's phenomenal. I mean, they're all there. It is like um, a work of art. It's, it's each card is, is you know, it's very. It, you could carry that card in your um, pocket. You could leave it in your cat's basket. You could. Uh, I've used it with my cat that um, she actually went missing for a few days, and I, I, I use the kind of the principle of choosing an essence for her, and I've got a really lovely video of her choosing one of the cards and just soaking up the energy of the card. Oh wow! So wow. that. It was really powerful. So it, it sounds it. I mean, I, the amount of support that is here in, you know, what comes across as two books and a, and a pack full of cards is is amazing. I mean, I was saying to Caroline when we were checking the tech earlier, you know, I, I she lovingly sent me this uh, kit and I looked at it. I was like, wow, there's so much information. And I've sit, since sat down with it with a coffee. I've got stickers all over. I've got post-its. I've got notes. And I said to her, it's a toolbox. You know, yeah. it, it's an amazing kit to be able to understand your cat more. So, you know, I, like I said at the beginning, I'm, I haven't got into the world of flower essences yet, but I'm getting there. And for me, it's like, you know, the chakra information, phenomenal. You know, the five element bit, there's a bit of everything in terms of like complementary um, uh, treatments and therapy. So, People are asking where to get the books and stuff, and I couldn't find it on Etsy. But Caroline's got a shop, and she will pop a link uh, in the comments when we finish. Yes, I will. I will do because um, it's on Melissa Tesaro's. Um, oh, is it her I shop? Think it's on hers. Yeah, yeah. Okay, great. So pop pop a link when we finish the live in the comments. I've put a link to the uh, Chakra Meridian workshop as well. So before we go, thank you, thank you so much. I have thoroughly enjoyed the session. I hope you guys that have watched us. Uh, and joined us live thank you for being here this evening i hope you've enjoyed it if anyone's got any questions apart from where can they get the books what everybody's asking uh let me know um hang on let me just have a quick flick through the comments no one can hear us great okay so if you're catching this on on replay again drop a comment and let us know thank you ever so much for your time um joining us this evening and caroline thank you to you my love i have had an absolute blast and i know that we could talk about cats yeah. for another, another good hour but um you know we'll save it for the workshop in a couple of weeks so thank you very much i hope you've enjoyed it i've enjoyed it definitely <laughs> Excellent. Well, thank you very much, everyone. We will let you get back to your evening and we look forward to seeing you at the, uh, the workshop in a couple of weeks. Thanks very much, Caroline. Take care. Bye for now.